a large proportion of people are wearing glasses or wearing contacts. You may even yourself wear glasses or wear contacts and are suffering from short-sightedness, which we call myopia. Now, myopia is, contrary to what doctors might tell you, not a disease or a disorder of any kind. But myopia or short-sightedness is rather just the consequence of an adaptive process of the eye. And when we take a look at how the eye actually functions, it starts to make some sense as to why a lot of people today um, have short-sightedness. Now, we have a lens in our eyes that we need in order to focus, uh, get d distant objects into focus as well as close up. And so this lens is changing its shape depending on the ciliary muscle. Now, when we look at something close up, the lens assumes a more round shape because the light of an object that is a short distance away, the light needs to be refracted more. We are generally spending a lot of time in close-up vision these times, looking at our smartphones for hours, at uh, computer screens, at newspapers, and uh, generally we stay indoors most of the time. Now we have not evolved indoors, obviously. Our eyes are actually adapted to a different environment, which is that of the outdoors. And the eye is constructed in a way that the ciliary muscle that controls the shape of the lens is relaxed when we look into the distance. It is tense when we look at objects close to our eyes. And so what happens is when we spend a lot of time in close-up vision looking at our smartphones, for example, then the muscle has to work very, very hard. And it can happen that because of this very abnormal uh, condition, the muscle is no longer able for some period of time, maybe fully able to relax for our distance vision. And so when we have spent a lot of hours in close-up vision, it is harder for the ciliar muscle to relax. It is harder for the lens to assume the shape it needs to assume in order to bring objects far from us into focus again. Now, in order to give the ciliary muscle a break, there's actually a trick that the eye utilizes. And this is speaking over longer periods of time where the eye actually elongates in order to release some of the tension that is put on the ciliary muscle because of the prolonged close-up vision. And so as the eyeball elongates, the ciliary muscle is able to relax a little bit again. Eventually, we will no longer be able to bring distant objects into focus because of this elongated eyeball that developed over months and years. So what do you do? You go to the eye doctor and you get prescription glasses, right? And so you're able to bring distant objects into focus again. However, you are once again putting the ciliary muscle under the same stress that has brought you to the place of being in need of minus diopter glasses in the first place, right? So this is a vicious cycle that continues on and on until people change their habits, go outdoors more, uh, spend less, in less time indoors in front of their smartphones or newspapers or books or monitors. So with the understanding of how our eyes actually work, we are now equipped with the knowledge that we need in order to reverse myopia. Now there's a wonderful resource out there which is run by Jake Steiner and it's called endmyopia.org. Uh, on that website you will find all the resources, all the scientific uh, research papers and all the videos and articles that can help you start to understand how your eye works and based off of that initiate the process of reversing your myopia over time. Right? And this is not hocus pocus, this is not some guru. Uh, he's not going to ask you for money if you don't want to pay him for some coaching, which you might uh, prefer, because this process can take quite a while. And I, I, it seems like a lot of people uh, need quite a bit of time to actually change their habits in a way that will consistently improve their eyesight. And this has been the case for me as well, because I came across end myopia about two and a half to three years ago, I believe. And 
I was pretty naive and kind of stupid back then because was what I did initially was just to never wear my contacts again and that was a bad bad idea because I was starting out with minus three in both eyes which means that I can see uh, sharply at about you know 33 centimeters of distance about a foot most of the time is blur which means that my visual cortex became accustomed to blur which meant that when I did occasionally put in reduced contact lenses then I wouldn't really be able to get anything into focus because my visual cortex didn't know what sharp was anymore it just forgot about that although I did enjoy a drastic improvement initially after ditching my contacts from a certain point onwards I did not enjoy any improvements anymore and so my whole process of improving my eyesight actually from that point on only started about a year ago when I finally bought reduced diopter glasses and I didn't even bother going to the doctor I just measured my eyesight myself which is a very straightforward process you can totally do on your own and again the resources to which you will find on endmyopia.org but also on the web in general probably it took me months to drop this blur adaptation and to get used to a sharp visual image again which then gave rise to uh, me being able to focus actively which is basically to use my eyes properly to actually look at things into the distance and to induce that stimulus that over time leads to the shortening of the eyeball so active focus is something that you gotta learn and it's something that you might see me doing every once in a while when I'm when I'm blinking a little bit unusually that is when I focus on actually looking at something with these reduced lenses right um, I, this is not a full correction which means I don't have 20-20 vision but I have something like 20-30 outdoors or 20-50 indoors uh, which is necessary in order to provide the stimulus necessary to reverse my short-sightedness so over the past three quarters of a year or so I have been able to go from minus two to minus 1.5 I have been able to change my habits in a way that is conducive to reducing my short-sightedness consistently for example I always take off my glasses when I'm reading especially indoors I also have bought a larger monitor and have set it up in a way that allows me to have a relatively large distance to my monitor so when I start out with uh, reduced lenses like that then I have the monitor relatively close and over you know a span of two to four months I gradually slide the monitor f further away in order to have that stimulus and this requirement for me to focus actively in order to see the text sharply which is again the stimulus that has the eyeball ending up shrinking again there are a lot of things to learn when it comes to reversing your myopia but a lot of people have reversed their myopia successfully to reverse your myopia does take quite a while though so it takes about three to four months for every quarter of a diopter and reductions I did buy a lot of glasses and I started out conservatively with glasses that were not uh, correcting enough but I will use them in the future right so I'm on my minus 1.5s right now but I already have my minus 1.25s and my minus ones and I will have to continue buying those glasses in the in the future but I'm really looking forward to that because it's an incredibly rewarding process to actually find over the span of weeks and months that I'm seeing sharper and sharper and I'm actually using my eyes as they are supposed to be used and it's a wonderful opportunity that I want you to have so thanks for watching and see you tomorrow